Welcome back to Africa 54. I'm Esther Gidoyot in Washington. Ghana is witnessing a milestone in its oil industry with the discovery of crude oil offshore by Springfield Exploration and Production Limited, the first independent African energy company to do so. The chief executive officer of the organization, a Ghanaian entrepreneur Kevin Okiri, describes the feat as a model that can inspire African youth. What I've told them is that it's a team effort. Springfield Oil Group CEO Kevin Okiere has been described by Forbes as one of Ghana's savviest yet understated entrepreneurs. The Financial Times last month announced that Springfield had struck oil in deep water off Takoradi, saying Okiere's oil exploration enterprise had made two discoveries, totaling 1.2 billion barrels of crude off the coast of Ghana in a block that would be bigger than the country's current biggest, the Jubilee block. If confirmed, the new discovery could significantly boost production in the West African country. The Jubilee field is operated by the UK's Chula Oil and is one of Africa's largest recent find. It was discovered by Cosmos Energy based in Texas in the United States. Ghana's finance minister Ken Oforiata said earlier this year he expected the country to more than double overall crude oil production over the next four years. Okiri's story is not one of rags to riches. He comes from a wealthy family. But the 38-year-old says he showed ambition and drive very early in life. But the 38-year-old says he showed ambition and drive very early in life. I used to sell water at a sports stadium at a very young age, at the age of 10, 11, thereabout. I believe that whatever you're doing, just put your all into it and do your all and you'll be able to achieve whatever your main objectives are. Don't look down onto any opportunity. This month, Okire is preparing to make the announcement on the new oil find with members of President Nana Akofoado's government that will catapult his company to the forefront of oil production. Okiri set up Springfield Group in 2008 and started trading in the downstream of the oil and gas sector in 2010. It then supplied products into landlocked countries before trading in Nigeria, the biggest market in the region, exporting crude oil and also handling the exports of new production and complex logistics from gas to liquid processing. Now, on an average, it takes companies maybe 12 months or so to be able to acquire an asset, but it took us four years. Um, but, you know, we never stopped. It was very difficult, it was very challenging, but we never stopped because we, we had a goal that we needed to get to. So in four years' time, in 2016, we finally got this, this asset, this oil block. And then we've been working at it ever since then by, first of all, bringing, at that point in 2017, it was the biggest seismic vessel in the world called a Run for Titan to shoot a 3D broadband um, survey just to you know, help us you know, really assess the opportunities that, was, that were um, ahead of us. And this is what has finally brought us to the stage whereby we've drilled successfully and we found hydrocarbons in commercial quantities. His advice to entrepreneurs in Africa is to start small, to be patient and avoid borrowing excessively. You, know, you need to grow organically. People are trying to look for, you know, trying to get bank loans and stuff before they can start. You need to grow organically. Start with whatever little space that you can work in and then grow it gradually to where you finally want to be. We wanted to be in exploration and production phase. We couldn't do it from day one, so we started with trading and built up capacity to get to exploration and production. His motto to the African youth is, don't give up. Okiere believes not only in giving back, but says any indigenous homegrown success will be good for the rest of the country and investment in the future of Ghanaians. He says higher oil revenue for Ghana means more funds for the state to invest in social development. Let's take a short break as we do. We remind you to visit our website, channelstv.com, for news and other programming. You can also find us on youtube.com forward slash channelsweb.